All right, uh, Shalom. Uh, I, of course, want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, uh, for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and the gospel of this truth. Um, today's date is um, August the, um, the 4th, uh, 2020. Um, now, you know, a lot of stuff's been going on, you know, the last, the last couple months. You know, I, I didn't really, you know, I want to apologize. I didn't, you know, I wasn't too active, you know, over the past month or two. Um, there's a reason behind that, you know, there's, well, there's many reasons, more reasons than 10. It's not because, you know, um, say, for example, um, you know, I'm just not, you know, doing what I'm doing just out of laziness. No, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. So, you know, whenever I'm able to all, you know, uh, continue to, you know, come on here and, you know, uh, uh, share this, um, this information. Okay. Um, you know, with that out of the way, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff to speak about, man. There's a lot of, um, you know, things to speak about, about, you know, the stuff going on in the world, you know, especially with this whole, you know, Corolla, uh, situation inside joke, uh, shout out to anybody who knows who I'm making fun of, uh, which we're laughing with that brother. We're not laughing at him anyway, anyway. Um, and no, it's not the loving Christian, just as a, a little hint. Anyway, um, you know, dealing with the whole, um, you know, Corolla situation, uh, Elder Apostle Tahar, um, did a video. Let me just get that real quick. It just dropped something. I did a video, I want to say, maybe, um, uh, say, um, Two weeks ago, or maybe it was a week ago, I, I went to uh, to watch. It was a good video, and he was basically speaking about how you know we should invest in uh, in gold and silver, okay? And um, you know, I of course you know agree with the the elder apostle because he's been saying that for you know longest uh, you know time. And I myself, you know, uh, uh, been you know I, I always knew that myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, but some brothers in the comment board, you know got a little bit you know like they were asking questions like what why why should we get gold and silver and you know the heart was like you know you know gold and, and silver isn't gonna you know it's not gonna save you it's not gonna be your salvation but the gold and silver it can be um very um i guess we could say uh useful okay very useful and you know the times that are that are at hand right now man okay um, say for an example, you know, when you deal with the whole, you know, economy right now, especially, you know, adding in the whole Corolla situation into the mix, you can clearly see that the, uh, the dollar is clearly going down, man. Okay. Things ain't looking too good right now. And we've been prophesying for years that these, um, that these things were going to happen, man. Okay. And now you're seeing it. Now people are seeing it before their very eyes. That the, the the things that the uh, you know the elder apostles of uh, of Great Millstone, um, and you know us under Akiam throughout the four corners of the earth, who you know follow Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls you know Jesus Christ, the things that we've been teaching, you know, is finally starting to come to pass, man. Okay, yeah, what is that Habakkuk two and two? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you know, the, the prophecies are speaking right now, man. Okay, it's a very big possibility that, you know, the mark of the beast, which is the, the microchip, will probably be enforced in, you know, the next couple of months, man. Maybe next year. Okay, I mean, it, it, the time is truly at hand right now, man. Okay, but a lot of guys are, you know, fooling around. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys who claim to be, you know, in, in this truth, especially, you know, Israel. A lot of those guys, you know, be, be playing around right now, man. Okay, which, I mean, it just makes you laugh, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, but, you know, with that being said, you know, those of us who are in the know, at least we can be aware and not be in the situation that they are in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me give an example. Um, I myself um, would always put away all of my um, my five dollar bills that I got whenever I um, 
uh, you know, say for example, if I go to the store and pay for something, right? Say I buy something that's, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, $4.30. So I hand the guy 10 bucks. He gives me back, uh, what, uh, five, um, say 570 because I believe I said it cost like 430 Okay, but we'll just say this. It costs 430 and I give the guy uh, $10 or give me um, uh, $5.70 uh, back from that. So what I do with that is I take the $5, put that into a little, you know, uh, uh, bucket I got. And then you take the, uh, the, um, the coins and you put that into a separate jar. Uh, as a side note as well, uh, keep the, um, the pennies separate from the... Uh, the, the opposite, you know, coins it will save a, a lot of space. I speak from experience, inside joke. Um, but yeah, you know, by doing that for the past, um, I want to say 17 months, I've saved myself uh, over just around $4,500. Okay, so I can take that money now, you know, which, hey, look, if I had $300, I would consider myself to be rich. That, that's, you know, that's just the way that I spend money. No, hey, hey, you know, these cats out here be wearing, you know, uh, you know, just like, a, what is the guy's name? Floyd Mayweather, right? Our people out there trying to live like Floyd, right? Trying to, you know, buy this, you know, merchandise and, you know, all that stuff. Um, you know, but hey, I, I wear, you know, I wear Dollar General, man. Or I wear, damn, you know, a uh, uh, yard sale. That's what I wear. <laughs> You know, not that I don't have the money to buy more expensive stuff. You know, as I said, I I live poor to be rich. That's the that's the way you're rich. The rich live like they're poor, and the poor live like the rich. That's how people are in such financial struggle that they're in now, is they don't know how to take control of their money. Okay, which you know, I'm I'm going all over the place here, but you know, it's all through the spirit and power of you. How are why you? How are shy? Um, and you know, the stuff that I speak about, a lot of brothers, you know, don't always get into this. And that's okay, because scriptures speak about the uh, the talents. All right, the one man was given five talents. The one was was given two. The one was given one. All right, so you know we all have different talents in this thing, man. And that's the beautiful thing about this. We're not all parrots, man. We don't just regurgitate, you know, um, everything. Okay, that's not that's not how we, you know, that's not how it is. Okay. Um, just a side note as well. Um, speaking about spending money wisely, uh, just the other day, um, I was able to catch, um, which is just a side note, this won't got anything to do with the truth, um, a little, just a little investment. Um, the other day, I was on uh, Mr. Beast's um, uh, YouTube page. I was able to, uh, to catch a little surprise um, live stream that he was doing where it was basically the, uh, if you buy this shirt, I'll sign it. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is I bought the shirt, which ended up coming to eh, just over $40, like $40 and a you know, little bit of change um, for the shirt. OK, now, why did I do that? Um, it wasn't because, you know, somebody can call me out and say, well, see, see, Yash idolizes somebody. No, that's not true. The reason I did that is for one, uh, Mr. Beast is a very popular, um, uh, uh, you know, YouTuber. Right, so if I could get merchandise, not only the merchandise for a good price, but if he signs it, you know, him and you know, the little crew that it got there, if they can put their signature on that and it's only a very limited sale, a one day sale only, do you have any idea how much money that's going to be worth? Like, I mean, you got you know, damn, you know, fans out there just like you know, even more stalker like than Andrew Ashby. And I mean, I mean, goddamn, you got to be. You know, like, uh, you got to be a hard son of a bitch to, to, you know, be worse than Andrew. I mean, that, that dude is just like, I mean, that dude gets just this year's Darwin reward. <laughs> Side joke. Um, but anyway, you know, I invested 40 bucks into that, just a little bit over 40 bucks into that, you know, signed um, shirt from Mr. Beast. Um, and you know, that could, that could sell for, I mean, I, I would, I could see certain fans paying well over two, two K for that, man. Okay. So, I mean, that is, you know, that's two thumbs up right there, man. 
Okay, let me give another example. Uh, a couple years ago, I bought a, uh, a rundown candy machine. Which, I mean, it wasn't necessarily run down. It was, you know, an older fashioned one where, you know, you put the, uh, the goins into the, uh, into the machine. And then you, um, you know, you turn it, it gives you, you know, your, uh, your candy, right? It just had a little bit of rust on the outside. So, uh, you know, I put a little, uh, you know, uh, cause the rust was on the tray, right? Where the candy falls down. So what I did, took some fabric, you know, gorilla tape it, right? That, that, that you know, strong glue, um, you know, advertisement by the way, um, uh, you know, I use that, um, to, you know, glue it down to where the, you know, the, the stand, I guess we'll say that. And, um, you know, I used it for a little while, got my, you know, little, little monies from that. Um, but I ended up selling it for a hundred dollars, but here's the kicker. I actually bought the machine for 30 bucks. Okay. So I made a, um, a $70 profit from, from that machine. Okay. And, th and this is the, um, this is the mind that we have to have, man, okay, when you're dealing with, with money. But our people don't have that mind. They don't think about the future. They think about right now, man, okay? They think about right now, okay? So, you know, me, right, putting away, you know, those $5 bills, you know, is able to, you know, build myself up a little bit of, you know, of, of money to the side, you know what I'm saying? But the other cats won't be able to do that because they'll take that five bucks and, you know, eh, well, well, I mean, why should I save $5? I'll just go and buy, you know, two Red Bulls with it. You know, we're all going, uh, I'll buy, you know, uh, these ear pods. You know what I'm saying? Um, or uh, this movie, right? Five bucks, good deal for it. You know what I'm saying? That's the, uh, the mindset that a uh, vast majority of not only our people, but, you know, everybody in general, you know what I'm saying? Uh, which, you know, you got to be wise when it comes to money because the scriptures say money answers all things. Money is a defense and money answers all things. Right. And, you know, as I said, not to ramble on, you know, getting back to what Elder Tahar said, um, you know, about the gold and silver. You know, it's, it's good to have some of those things, you know, put aside because that truly is real money, gold and silver. I myself got a little bit of a uh, little bit of silver. Um, when I say little bit, I don't mean much, um, because you know I didn't I didn't really collect too much of it. Uh, I got about 25 pounds of uh, of copper uh, wheat pennies. Um, and, you know that's that's another thing as well, which y'all can look into that. Just go on YouTube and look up uh, wheat pennies. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, you know, but y'all y'all should know about that already. Okay, because you might even have some in your uh, your change jar. Recommend you look for them, but first know what it is, though. So go ahead and look that up. Um, you know, those are val valuable, right? Excuse my voice if I sound a little weird. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, going back to the uh, the whole Corolla situation that I was uh, you know speaking about. Um, you know, this is everything is pointing towards a financial collapse. Uh, of, of the dollar man okay that's everything is pointing for uh, pointing to and pointing for okay i mean it's at this point it's unavoidable okay it can't really be avoided that these are the things that are going to happen in the very near future okay that the dollar is going to go down you know it, it, everything is just going to go crazy man everything is bad right now you know say for example you got a man say for example uh, Jeff Bezos, um, uh, Bill Gates, um, uh, let's see, um, yeah, oh, Donald Trump, you know, they're just uh, to name a couple guys out there who have, well, I mean, Donald Trump doesn't have, you know, as much as uh, John Bezos or Jeff Bezos and, um, you know, uh, uh, Steve Jobs and uh, Bill Gates, of course, um, you know. But those couple of men I mentioned, they, they're worth, uh, you know, $100 billion. I mean, a man to have $100 billion to be worth that much money. You have any idea how much money that is, man? But yet the average Joe don't even got $10 worth. Right? The average person's living paycheck to paycheck. That's unrighteous, man. All right? That's why the scriptures speak about we look for a, a, a kingdom that, you know, they're in 
dwells righteousness. Not this society, man. This is this is wickedness here. Okay, this is the society that you get demonized for trying to sleep with another woman other than the, the, the woman that you're quote unquote legally married to. Okay? But that's not our kingdom, man. Okay? We're we're looking for this kingdom to go down and for a new kingdom to rise up. And that's what we're seeing right now, man. Okay, that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing the end of America, the end of Babylon the Great, which will bring in the um, the new kingdom, okay? The kingdom of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay? All these things are, are clearly coming to pass, man. Okay, but I just wanted to uh, give my two cents on that. Um, anyway, I'm going to say shalom.